Hey guys, today I'm going to share a vegan yogurt taste test. I always get asked what's my favorite vegan yogurt, but I never really have an answer just because I haven't tried a lot of vegan yogurt brands. So I went on a hunt in New York City to find all of the vegan yogurts I could and I found 16 brands. I bought all the vanilla flavors just so I would have like a baseline to compare them on, but a lot of these brands have other flavors like strawberry, blueberry, key lime pie, plain, like actually a lot of flavors, but I have the vanilla flavors, so let's get into this taste test. This is the Silk Almond Milk Yogurt Alternative. I like the pretty blue packaging. I wonder how many times I'm going to get squirted with yogurt this morning, because you know like when you open yogurt, it like squirts at you? The first one's good. Silk did not squirt on me. Looks nice and creamy. I can see the vanilla beans throughout. Ooh, that is good. Ooh. It's creamy, smooth, not like gritty or anything. I like the vanilla flavor and it's perfectly sweet. Not too sweet, but it's still like pretty sweet. That's really good. I would actually give this brand a 9 out of 10. We are off to a good start. Now Silk also has soy milk yogurt, but that one had cornstarch in it and I'm allergic to corn so I didn't buy that one. This is the almond milk version, but I bet the soy milk is pretty good as well. This is the Ripple Milk Greek Yogurt Alternative. I've actually never seen this in stores. I was so surprised to find it. I was just looking. For people that are allergic to nuts, this is good because it's 100% nut free and also soy free. So if you're allergic to soy or nuts, I would say Ripple is maybe a good brand. Let's see how it tastes. It's hard to see the color of this yogurt on camera, but it's sort of like beigey. It's like a little of a weird color and it smells sort of weird. I don't know how this is going to be. Yeah, it's a little um, gritty. Ooh. It has a funky flavor. I'll, t I'll try it one more time. Yeah, it's okay. It has a weird smell that is putting me off because it smells like this medicine I used to take as a kid. I forget the name. Um, yeah, that is, it's a little weird. It's a little thinner than the silk, which I don't like. It has sort of like a weird smell, which really puts me off and it's a tiny bit gritty. So I think I'm actually going to give the Ripple Yogurt a 3 out of 10. I probably wouldn't buy it again, but if you're allergic to nuts and soy, this is a pretty good option. So maybe try it, see if you like it or not. So 3 out of 10. Next up is the Dairy Free Delicious, and it's spelled like delicious. Now I think this is a yogurt company that sells dairy yogurt and they just happen to have like an almond milk alternative which I think is perfect because I love seeing like big milk corporations making vegan products because it just shows like how the world is really changing. Ooh, this is really thick. The top was really thick but then once I mixed it in it got a little thinner like it's actually like really runny but we'll still give it a try. It's okay. It's a lot thinner than I want it to be. It has a pretty good flavor, except the aftertaste is just a little bit off. Something's off about it. You could definitely tell this is not like, yeah, it's like, okay. I think I will give this a six out of 10. It's not a bad vegan yogurt. I think there'll go, there's going to be better ones. Like I definitely prefer the silk over this. If it was a little thicker, it would be a lot better. And the flavor is just a little off-putting. Let's go with another brand that is a big dairy corporation that makes vegan yogurt. So this one is Stonyfields. This one is really nice. Look how thick that is. It's, it's a nice thick consistency. It looks really smooth. Oh, that's perfect. That tastes like vegan pudding. That is so good. Consistency is on point. It is perfectly smooth, perfectly sweet. I can taste the vanilla. I don't really see like vanilla bean, but that's all right. Wow. I give that a nine out of 10. That is absolutely perfect. I really like this brand. 
Okay, we are off to a good start. We had two good ones, two okay ones. Let's see what's next. Now this is the So Delicious Coconut Milk Alternative. Now I've actually had this brand before a really long time ago when I first went vegan, so about two years ago, and I think it had like the blueberry flavor, but I don't really remember. So <laughs> let's see how this tastes. Ooh, nice and thick again. I like thick yogurt. Not like too thick, but not thin. So I like when it's like a medium thickness and creamy. Ooh, that's good. Now I love coconut. It definitely has like a coconutty flavor. Not too coconutty, but it has like an underlying coconut flavor. Very good, very creamy, perfectly sweet. I give that an eight out of 10. I would definitely eat that again. I'm just giving it an eight just because the silk and the soy were just a tiny bit better, but so good, so delicious. Next up is the Kite Hill Greek style artisan almond milk yogurt. If you watched my epic vegan taste test, you will know that I tasted the Kite Hill Greek yogurt, but it, it I tasted like it expired because I also tried to taste another vegan yogurt, another Kite Hill yogurt in the key lime flavor and that had mold on it. So I feel like it might have been expired. So I said, I'll try it again, even though I really didn't like it last time. Maybe it will surprise me. Yeah, like it has like a weird like probiotic smell to it, but you can see the vanilla bean, so I like that. Huh, it's not as bad as I remember it to be. I think I'm gonna give the Kite Hill a five out of 10. Um, it's just, it's just all right. It has like a little bit of a weird flavor, like I can't, a little bit sour and it has like a weird thick it's not thick and it's not thin like i can't really explain it because it's thick like with the spoon but then when you eat it it sort of like stays on your tongue like it's a weird thickness the other yogurts that were thick were thick but like when you ate them it just went down smoothie smoothly this like stays on your tongue and it's just a little bit weird so five out of ten let's stick with kite hill i have their regular yogurt now not the greek style It's like thin and creamy. I like, can't really explain it, but let's see. Oh, I like that. That's good. It definitely is sweeter than the other yogurts. It's not like too sweet, but it definitely is sweeter than the other ones. So if you don't like the sweetness, you could get like the plain version and then add fruit or like add sweetener, but just add not as much as they do. But I think I really like this. It is a little bit too sweet. For my preference, like in the morning, I don't really like really sweet things, but it's still really good. So I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. The consistency is perfect. Unlike the Greek style, the consistency of the regulars, like thin but creamy, still a little bit thick. It's like that perfect middle ground. So I like that. 8 out of 10. This is Forager Cashew Free Cashew Gurt. It has like a smooth, creamy consistency. Not as thick as some of the other ones, but still not as thin as the delicious. Lots of vanilla beans, actually. Ooh, that's good. Oh, it has a beautiful smell. Ooh. What does it smell like? Hold on a second, I, I need to figure, figure this out. It smells like fresh baked like cookies or something. It smells really, really good. I definitely love this. The flavor is perfect. perfect. The consistency is on the side, like more on the watery side. Not like watery, but more of the thin side, which if it was thicker, it would get like a nine out of 10. But since it's a little bit too thin for me, I think I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Still really good, like I would eat it, but I just wish it was a little bit thicker. Next up is the Nancy's Cultured Soy Yogurt. For Nancy's, I couldn't find vanilla. All I could find is the plain, so I had to go with plain. I also could only find the big version of it. Oh, this is a weird consistency, like what? That smell. This is disgusting. I don't even wanna taste it. <laughs> the consistency is so gross. Like it's lumpy and I don't even know, lumpy and clumpy and 
Okay, like I can't get it to not be clumpy and I've been mixing it for a few minutes. Maybe if you like blend it, you could get the clumps out, but I really just want to taste this and get it over with. Ew. Ugh. No. That's a 1 out of 10. Not even. That's a 0 out of 10. No, that's, that's really gross. So I'm going to be... I don't know what I'm going to do with this whole big tub of gross yogurt, but... I would give that a 1 out of 10. I would not recommend to buy it. Mm -mm. Next up is the lava yogurt. And what's really cool about this brand is instead of using sugar, they use real fruit to sweeten it. So this one is the strawberry flavor. I couldn't get a vanilla just because they used fruit to sweeten it. So you can't get like a vanilla flavor because there's no fruit to sweeten it. So I got the strawberry flavor and like the ingredients are really cool. So the co it's like a coconut base, but it also has pilly nuts in it, which I haven't heard about before, before seeing this yogurt. And they have a cool packaging. Oh, okay. So pilly nuts are a super nut grown in fertile vo volcanic soil. Pilly nuts are deeply satisfying with a potent pop of wholesome fats and nutrients. It's like a weird smell. It smells a little bit like strawberries and a little bit of something else I like can't put, put my nose to. Huh. Weird. Let's try it. It has a subtle strawberry flavor, not really sweet. The consistency is smooth with a tiny bit of grittiness. And I can taste lime. I don't know if there's lime in here, but there is lime. There's lime juice because you can definitely taste the lime coming through. I think I'm going to give that a 4 out of 10. Personally, I don't like the flavor of it. Maybe it's like the pilly nuts that give it that flavor. It's just a little weird. So yeah, 4 out of 10. Next up is the Vega Yogurt. Now I've actually never seen Vega Yogurts in stores. I was so surprised to see it. I've actually only seen their protein powder. So this is a cashew milk yogurt alternative, a protein kind of yogurt. So it has like 3 grams of, pro three grams, 13 grams of protein. And the base is cashew milk and it has pea protein in it. Sounds pretty good. It has stevia in it, and I'm not a big stevia fan. I just don't like the flavor, but maybe I'll like it. It also has coconut sugar, so maybe the other fling flavors, flings, I don't even know what that was. The other flavors will make it taste good. Oh, this one smells good. It sort of smells like chocolate, but it's vanilla flavor. It does look like chocolate. It's like very brown. I can see the vanilla beans, which is nice. Ooh, that is really sweet. Ooh, that is very, very sweet. I think they could do without the monk fruit extract and the stevia extract because I feel like with the coconut sugar, it would be sweet enough. That's very, very sweet, so I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. The consistency is there, the vanilla flavor is there, but just too sweet. So we're going to take a little bit of a different route to vegan yogurts and try this vegan chia seed pudding. Now, I was like really deciding in the store, should I buy the chia pod just because it's technically not vegan yogurt? But like technically it is vegan yogurt because it's like coconut milk with chia seeds, which is technically just ch like chia seeds in yogurt. So I'm going to give it a try. The spoon is very small. So, ooh, that is really thick. Whoa. Okay, I give up with this little spoon. I'm actually just gonna use this to stir it. It is very, very thick. Now, disclaimer, I've never had chia seed pudding and actually liked it, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. The reason I don't like chia seed pudding normally is the texture, because it just tastes like, I don't know, a little bit funky, but we'll see. Maybe this will surprise me. The texture is actually not that bad. I think because it's like been sitting like very long, like the chia seeds really soaked up all the moisture they possibly could. So they're not crunchy. They're like almost a little bit smooth because, yeah. It is a little watery. I wish it was creamier. So for that, I think I'm gonna give it a four out of 10, a four or like a 4.5 because I'm going between four and five. Yeah. 
I wish it was creamier. Like when I saw coconut milk, I thought it would be nice and creamy, but I think it's a little bit too watery for me. So next up is the GTS Coco Yo Living Coconut Yogurt. Now the reason I'm scared to try it is because I tried this brand's coconut kefir, I think it's called, and it was terrible. Like too, I mean kefir is normally like really um, fermented, I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. I'm pretty sure kefir is fermented, so it was very sour. So I didn't like it. So hopefully this won't be as sour. Since it's raw, it doesn't have any sweetener. The only three ingredients are young coconut, young coconut water, and probiotic cultures. So I have a feeling it won't be too sweet. It's almost like whipped. I don't even know how to explain the consistency. It's very airy. It looks a little gritty. <laughs> that is a no from me no i think i give that a zero out of ten it's even worse than the nancy soy yogurt <sighs> that is very very fermented just no next up is the daya deliciously dairy-free vanilla greek yogurt here's the packaging I like was trying to look in the viewfinder and see which way it was supposed to be, but since it's all lowercase, I was getting so confused. Ooh, very thick. Now I've actually bought the Daya, um, yeah, Daya. I always get confused whether to say Daya or Daya, but I think it's Daya, um, the Daya yogurt for my dad to try. And I think he tried it, but I don't, I don't remember if he liked it or not. Definitely can see the vanilla beans throughout. Definitely thicker than a lot of the other yogurts. That is good. Nice and smooth, nice vanilla flavor, perfectly sweet. I like that consistency. Wow, that is perfect after that like, ugh, yogurt. I like that. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10, just because I think I like the soy and silk better. But yeah, an eight out of 10. Still really good. Like if you can't get the, which one is this? Stony Fields or the Silk Almond Milk, dye is a perfect choice to get. Ooh, we have two coconut yogurts left. First up is the Coconut Collaborative. And this is in the plain flavor, just because their like sweetened flavors have um, cornstarch in it and I'm allergic to corn. So we're just gonna have to go try the plain. I'm really like scared to try it because like I'm really sick of trying bad yogurt. Uh... Oh, it's really good. That's really good. The consistency is perfect. Flavor is subtle. Like it doesn't have a lot of flavor and that's good because it's not sweetened, it's just plain. So that's perfect, so you can add like granola on top or frozen fruit, fresh fruit. I think I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. It would be perfect if you made it into like a bowl or like, you know, a breakfast bowl. Even if you added it to like yogurt, I think that would be, not yogurt. Even if you, <laughs> even if you added it to oatmeal, it would be really good. It would give like a nice creamy element. And lastly is the Koyo vanilla bean flavor. Now I've actually tried this yogurt before, but when I was in London, they have like two lines. They have a London, a UK line, and a US line. So I tried, I'm pretty sure like they're the same products. I mean, I'm guessing. I tried the chocolate flavor in London and it was so good. It tasted just like chocolate pudding. Now this is very thick. I don't remember the um, one in London being as thick. It was more of like a pudding consistency. Speaking of vegan yogurts like in other countries, when I was in Italy, I had a brand of vegan yogurt, So Jade, and it was like a soy yogurt just made from soy and water, and it was so good. I practically had like yogurt bowls every day with granola. It was amazing. And I think that's available in all European countries, also like France and uh, the UK as well, so. Mm. That is very coconutty, very thick, and very coconutty. I don't think I really like it, which is really disappointing because I love the chocolate, the chocolate one in London. It's too thick for me, and not 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 sweet enough. I think I'm gonna give that a 6.5 out of 10. Not my favorite. 
So I'm going to pick my top three favorites. For third and second are Daya and Silk. They're pretty much tied. They're both a really great option. I would say Daya is a little bit thicker than Silk, but Silk is still thick and sweet and perfect as well. So I would just say try both of them and see which one is your favorite. And then for first place is the Stonyfield Soy, which is super surprising because Stonyfield is a like a company that produces non-dairy products as well. So it's just amazing that they, they make a really great vegan product. So I like yogurt with granola, so I'm going to add my favorite granola on top and tell you how it is because that is the real test. So I'm just going to try granola on my favorite one. I'm just adding some of this granola. It's purely Elizabeth. It is the best granola I've ever had. It's crunchy, sweet, just perfect. So I'm just going to dip it in, see how it is. Drop it all over myself as well. Amazing. I hope you enjoyed this vegan yogurt taste test. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've tried any of these yogurts. Is there a brand that I missed? Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. I actually have a bonus yogurt. I bought the So Delicious Key Lime flavor. Ooh, it smells like paradise. That is so good. Oh my gosh, guys. It smells so good. Tastes so good. Definitely a 9 out of 10. That is really good. Okay, now is the real buy. Bye, guys. Don't take a thumbnail when you opened up yogurts or this will happen.